there was this great story uh, in the early 1500s, in 1519, King Henry VIII proclaimed that hops were a wicked and pernicious weed and would ruin beer. The brewers, on the other hand, decided that hops were delicious and that it was something that should be in beer, and that's what it is today. And, and the story, I think, really reflects the rebel spirit and the integrity we have in quality. Uh, and I think it's just a great backbone for the ethos of the Wicked Weed brand. This was uh, an original Gulf gas station, a showpiece Gulf gas station in the 1930s and early 40s, and, it, and the evolution's there. So seeing the brick, seeing the wood ceiling, seeing the, the original concrete floor, we didn't want to mess this building up, so we just wanted to, to polish a few things and, and show off what Asheville created. The brewery started with the coming together of two families, the Guthies and Dickinsons. Family history goes back 55 years. Being a beer lover, uh, we love creating experiences and creating uh, great craft. And so at the time, we're Beer City USA. Uh, a lot of great beer being produced, but we didn't want to only focus on the, the beer aspect of things. We wanted to focus on the customer service, the atmosphere, uh, and the culinary program. As far as beer goes, you know, we've kind of gone from where we look at the traditional styles of IPAs and, and brown ales and lagers and things like that you, you think of as, as a brewery, but sour beers and barrel aging and then the expansion into natural wines and ciders. We really try to reinforce all of our people to be um, the best kind of artist and creator they can be and we try to support that. I always say uh, we're a company of creators. We have 350 employees now at this time. and. We do everything internally, uh, whether it's our fabrication shop, doing all the metal and woodworking, you see the furniture, the flight boards, all the decor, the murals that we're doing. We have great graphic designers and artists, um, you know, our chefs, our brewers, our servers, are always creating a new experience. So uh, I think Wicked Weed, and the best way to put it, crafts everything we touch. I love Wicked Weed because it's a good local spot. The service is excellent, and every time we come here, we just, we're always made to feel special. My favorite beer is Freak of Nature. Best beer, hands down. And my favorite food is the Bison Burger. I have many, many favorites, but I do have to say when it comes to sours, they're definitely hands down the best I've ever had. Of course, our staple and our flagship beers, which would be Pernicious and Freak of Nature. When we have our Menage a Freak, that is a very popular party that we have, and that's when we release our triple IPA. And then one of our cocktails, the one favorite would probably be the Tequila Stings Like a Bee. We have four uh, unique locations here in Asheville. When you go to our facilities, we want you to have a different experience every time. And so we have an original location, uh, the Brew Pub, where we have uh, about 30 different beers pouring at any given time, hitting all the different styles. We walk down the street, we go to the Funkatorium, and this was really the first uh, sour tap room and barrel warehouse uh, in the entire East Coast. One year later, we open up uh, our production brewery, 70,000 square feet, where we're producing all of our beer via cans and draft. Uh, we also have, uh, it's called Wicked Weed West, a little tap room that overlooks the entire brewery. In 2016, uh, we open up a larger uh, facility down in Arden. Uh, that is our headquarters, that's our new sour production brewery, and um, really pushing the boundaries of what we can do at each location. We're a brewery first, right? And beer is the backbone of everything you do. It's the lifeblood of the company. But with that, we've taken that and kind of channeled it into the restaurant experiences, into the food and beverage industry. And so we've dedicated an entire facility to that, which is called the Funkatorium. Uh, that also houses our new fine dining restaurant, Cultura, which we're happy to say has just reopened in the past couple of weeks since COVID. And we did receive a James Beard nomination in 2020 for best new restaurant there. This is an amazing culinary town where we have access to all these beautiful ingredients. And we really try to showcase that on the menu, focused on direct relationships with our farms and vendors, uh, putting, you know, what we think is uh, our take on kind of Southern Appalachian cuisine on the plate every day. Along with this huge list of sour beers that you would never be able to try anywhere else in the world. So to have those two places to really showcase the full breadth of what craft beer today is, what it was yesterday and what it'll be tomorrow, I think that's the really cool thing that Wicked Weed gets to deliver. And the only way you could is by having these unique spaces that tell that story. I think we have a great community reach in, in the work we do with nonprofits. Uh, we've been very tied to supporting the community, to philanthropy since the early days of the company. From there, we've kind of amplified that 
with the Beers That Builds program, taking different beers that we're producing and giving proceeds back to certain causes. Next weekend is Pride Toberfest, one of my favorite. To me, this is the future of great companies. It is our job as corporations to bring positive change to our communities and to our world. Uh, and I do feel confident that every day we're doing our best we can to do that. So next time you're in Asheville, come to Wicked Weed. I promise you'll find something exciting and new. Love to have you down, pull up a chair and have a pint. Cheers.